Hey, what's going on YouTube? I'm a V-King here with another awesome tutorial for you today. And uh, so, here we have it. Yeah, it's pretty nice looking, I think. Uh, surprisingly, just this one coil here, I believe, with the uh, magnet arrangement I have, creates a doubling frequency phase effect and this coil here picks it up. Now I'm going to make a Star of David coil out of this phase arrangement. And if you guys haven't seen my Star of David coil yet, then you can look at the link below. Uh, it'll, I tell you exactly how to make the Star of David coil. There you go. <laughs> all right, so this is part two because I don't have all of the coils set up yet. Uh, there's going to be 12 phase coils. It's going to be uh, six here and six here and then these six magnets will enter will work with these six coils these six magnets right here will work with these six coils so you can tell I got it already pre-measured all right, I also have a uh, 1.5 volt, just to show you, 1.5 volt C cell battery and a copper wire, just to give you guys an idea of what I'm planning to do. Now, for those of you that have been following along so far, uh, thank you, and I hope you subscribe to my channel. Now, to make the generator work, we're going to need a switch, right? And we're going to need a way to store up all of the power. Now, if all of you, or some of you, know what the Wimhurst electrostatic generator is, then this is a great concept of how it works, right? So the Wimhurst generator uses two disks, which creates a static voltage potential using aluminum. Um, so with this concept, I'm basically turning the absorbed static electricity into a pump system. Yeah, I think that's the best way to say it. Now the point of this generator, or uh, step up transformer, is to obviously step up the volts even higher. But a lot of people doesn't realize that uh, voltage at given frequencies can also lower in resistance, so the energy can, can go across the wire easier and uh, create the skin effect, right? So this frequency being produced here goes into these coils. Uh, I'm hoping creates a high frequency from the polyphase arrangement. I will send that energy into this step up transformer and it should also create a high frequency as a result from it as well. This transformer will step up the energy. So I am about to wire this up right now and show you guys, oh crap and show you guys just how much power I produce with just one coil, that coil right there. Okay, so I have it wired up right now, and as you can see, I have 8.7 ohms, it usually goes to nine ohms, but it's probably because I have a crap wire set up here. Now, we're going to take it to the volts setting Okay, and so I want to make sure you guys can see this clearly. All right, now we are going to get this hooked up. There we go. Now first I'm going to show you the AC it generates, and then I will show you the frequency. Uh-oh. Well, hang on, let me get this fixed here. All right, let's try this again. Take two. Oh, 
Well, all right, so the magnets keep flipping off. <laughs> uh, highest voltage I can get is 500 millivolts per one phase. Okay, now I'm going to show you the frequency. And I'm not going to get it to its max because the magnets keep flying off, which means I got to get this a little bit better for the connection. Uh, okay, so I'll get this camera range like that. Come on. Come on, camera. Okay, let's do this. All right. Got you. Got you. And. That's as far as I'm going to go with it. So we got past 100 hertz. All right. Now, if you guys want to see how my arrangement works here, I can take this off for you. I just got to adjust it a little bit better. Okay. Now these are all north. These are all south, but the arrangement is different, you see? And that is how you get an easier doubling effect. So I hope you guys liked part two. And if you're loving this content so far, please give this channel a thumbs up. Feel free to subscribe to my channel. And peace out, guys.